gustó? Me gustó. Ah. Ahí trabajé un año. Ah, de veras. ¿A dónde? Por ahí en el propio San Sonate, pero fui por ahí una vez. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Hello, hello, I'm here again, I'm here again. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola. Hello, teacher. I, I really It's sorry. Problem. Internet. Yeah, no. Andaba I... con Frozen en el teacher, uh -huh. dice. The power went <laughs> off here. Se fue la energía con 15 segundos y me desconectó todo. <laughs> I do really sorry about it, you know. I don't, don't know. worry, teacher. I'm, I'm, I'm really worried because... Don't worry. The video stop recording and I'm starting to do it again, you know. Okay. But here we are. Maybe I need to look for, for a solar system that is going to be better. It is, it is a good idea. Teacher. Yes. Use solar energy. Yeah, but the problem is that it's so expensive. In order to have it in my house, I need to spend more than $300, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's real. I need to spend a lot of money. And yeah. right now, it's really difficult, you know? But maybe one day we're going to have it. Okay, going back Ten again. years. Okay, excuse me? 10 years do you need to recover the, the initial inversion, teacher? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's good. It is. Okay. Five, five years. Five years. Five. Elroy, Elroy. Okay. Okay. Continue with, with the, with the topic. Continuando con lo que estábamos haciendo. So please, I need the, the volunteers to start again, please. And I do really Me teacher. Hi. Me teacher. Edward, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, do it. Okay, let's start. Do you often send email, Edward? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to, to write? Effective email? Yeah, sure. Hey, teacher. Finish, teacher. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. I do really appreciate your participation. Somebody else? Alguien más, alguien más? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. With Rosita. Okay, with Rosita, do it. Oh, yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use it abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Okay, finish. Okay, thank you. Finish. Somebody else. Somebody else. <laughs> Somebody else wants to do it. Alguien más? Hello. Somebody else want to do it? Alguien más? No? Me teacher. Okay. With Stephanie. Okay, with Stephanie. Do it, do it. Are you ready, Stephanie? Okay. 
Yo creo que no me escucha. Stephanie, are you there? Ah, pensé que era la otra Stephanie, no. Sí, estoy lista. <laughs> okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It's appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay thank you. Okay, because of the time we need to move forward. Let us continue working. I'm gonna share with you some info. Okay. We already talked about the power. And right here we are going to talk about the number four. And we have a step to write a, a formal email. Okay, I'm going to read it. And let us say uh, read the tips to write a formal email and classify the email below as formal or informal. This is letter B, read the tips to write a formal email and classify the email below as formal or informal. And then letter B says for the informal email discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal? But it's gonna be later. I'm going to read it. Number one, fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document, document or important. Ahí está la respuesta de, de Walter. Right here is the answer. Fill in the subject line with the topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Is clear? Is clear for you? Yes, teacher. Okay, number two, include a polite salutation. E.g., do you know what is the meaning of this e.g.? ¿Saben el significado de estas dos letras? No, no sería como, por ejemplo, o algo así. Yeah, example given. Ejemplo dado, esto se usa solamente cuando son ya escritos así. Provienen de latín, example given. Ejemplos dados. Ok, excelente. Dear Mr. Uh, dear Miss, good morning etc. It's a polite salutation. Okay, number three, write your main point in the opening sentence. Write your main point in the opening sentence. What is the opening sentence? ¿Cuál será la opening sentence? Somebody want to tell me? Or we are going to discuss later because I have an extra information that you can understand exactly what we are talking about. It's... Okay, ya luego hablamos de lo que es el opening sentence. Number four, don't use all capital, all or lowercase letter. Is that clear for you? Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Okay, don't use all capital or all lower case letter. Ni solo capital, ni solo low, lower case. Okay, number four, avoid abbreviation. PG, PLC, please. Number six. Be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Keep in mind. Remember to write please and thank you. Number seven, 
Be brief. Mm -hmm. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. What is an attachment? Somebody wants to explain me what is an attachment? Me teacher. Okay, tell me. What is an attachment? Es un, es un archivo adjunto. Archivo adjunto. Excellent, Edward. Okay. El que no sabía ya lo veo escribiendo ahí en su cuaderno, en sus notas. Está escribiendo attachment, archivo adjunto. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Number eight. Use a closing phrase like best regard. Regards, looking forward to your comments, and etc. Yeah, it's a closing phrase. Number nine, add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Your name, business address, and phone number. Yeah, all the information that you consider that is relevant. Edit and read before you send the message. What we are going to do at the end? ¿Qué es lo que debemos de hacer? Editar. Y releer antes de enviarlo. Yeah, in order to be sure what we are going to send. Okay. Let me see what time is it? Okay, let me see if I can share something else. Let me see where I have it. Oh, I have two different information. But I'm going to share with you this one. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm going to mention some info. When we talk about professional email, sometimes we need to talk about type of email, uh, the part of an email too, tips on composing mail element of messages, creating professional email messages. We are not going to talk about contracting professional memos, stating your purpose, using if, no, only just at the, the beginning, we are going to use it. Okay, let me see. Uh, sometimes we have a fourth type of email. For example, the first one is no reply email. What is that? You want to tell the receiver something, either a complaint information, no reply is necessary. No reply is necessary, that means that when you send an email, uh, you don't need replies, yeah? Then you put it, no reply is necessary. Envía la información, no quiere que le responda. Uh, what about inquire email? You need something for the receiver in a reply. Ahí sí, necesitamos que él no responda algo. Uh, talking about advices uh, and question answer. The reply is your desired outcome. Necesitamos una respuesta, que eso es lo que nos interesa. We also have open-ended email to keep communication live open for the purpose of some future result or benefits. Ahí dejamos abierto para obtener una respuesta. And also we have action email. The goal is not the reply, but some action on the part of the receiver. Example, a self page or asking for a website link exchange. That means we have a different kind of bits. And right here we can find different part of an email. For example, right here we can find two. The two line is the address of the person who will be receiving the message. If the person email address is type run, your message will be returned to you right here. We need to be sure that the email address is written in the right way. Debemos de asegurarnos que esté escrito bien, porque si no, no le va a llegar. Yes? Okay. We also have attachment, our file that you add to your email. 
you can attach document, picture, videos, and even uh, some time game. But working some time, we don't use this kind of information. We also have the subject. Right here, the lines tell you what the message is about. Right here in the subject, accent from computer class, for example. And right here, this is white box, is in the message box. This is where you type your letter. Yeah, it can be as even as you like, but remember, we already talked about that, it has to be brief. And remember to be nice on the net on your might be playing. And also we have a, in, a, in a different way. Two is the address where you are going to write down the email address, the subject. Right here, you are going to write down the subject. And we had the opening. Do you remember that we talked about opening? But in this case, it's informal because he's saying hi. The body or the context is right here. Aquí está el cuerpo, el contexto. And this is the closing right here and the signature. Okay. I also have some explanation about this, but um, I would like to share another kind of info in order that you can have a, a better idea about what we are talking about. It's, let me see this one. Let me see this one, okay. Right here. Let me see. Okay, how to write a perfect professional email in English in five steps. And I need a given my. Necesito que se les queden grabados los cinco steps. Okay, how to write a formal email. Follow these five simple steps to make sure your English email are perfectly professional. Number one, begin with a greeting. What is that? Could you tell me what is the meaning? Hello. Muy bien. Hola. What is the meaning of number one? Begin yeah, well, what is the meaning in Spanish? I want to be sure that you understand. Se empieza con un saludo. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Number two, send the recipient. Number three, state your purpose. Number four, add your closing remark. And number five, end with a closing. But let us see one. Okay, number one, so begin with a greeting. Always open your email with a greeting, such as Dear Lillian. If your relationship with the reader is formal, use their family name. Dear Mrs. Price, for example. If the relation is more casual, you can simply say, Hi, Kelly, but in this case, we are talking about formal, not informal. If you don't know the name of the person you are writing to, use to whom it may concern. Podría escribir to whom, to whom it may concern, a quien interese, or dear sir, or madame. Is that clear? Hola. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hello. Yes. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Let us do number two. Thanks, the recipient. If you are replying to a client's inquiry, you should begin with a line of thanks. For example, if someone has a question about your company, you can say, thank you for contacting ABC company. It's an example. Si alguien está uh, pidiendo alguna información, usted escribe, thank you for contacting ABC company. In this case, th this is the name of the company. 
If someone has replied to one of your email, be sure to say, thank you for your prompt reply or thanks for getting back to me. Thanking the reader put him or her at easy and it will make you appear more polite. Dándole gracias al lector, de esa forma uh, hacemos que todo sea más cortés. ¿Se entiende? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Number three, stay your purpose. If you are starting the email communication, si está comenzando la comunicación en el email, it may be impossible to include a light of things. Instead, begin by stating your purpose. For example, I am writing to inquire about, or I am writing in referring to. No debemos de perder el objetivo de a lo que estamos haciendo, ¿sí? O lo que pretendemos hacer. May your purpose clear early on in email, in the email. Debemos de hacer el propósito claro Así de entrada. And then move into the main stack of your email. Y después ya se mueve al texto principal. Remember, people want to read emails quickly. Recordemos que las personas quieren leer los emails en forma rápida. They don't have enough time in order to keep them reading two pages, three pages. So keep your sentences short and clear. You also need to pay careful attention to grammar, spelling, punctuation, so that you present a professional image of yourself and your company. Yeah, we need to take care about that. Necesitamos poner atención a la gramática, a la forma de deletrear las palabras, las puntuaciones, para que eso sea presentado en una forma profesional. Y eso hablará de su compañía. Okay, number four. Add your closing remark. Veamos la despedida. Before you end your email, antes de terminar your email, it's polite to thank your reader. Es cortés saludar. Agradecer perdón a sus lectores. One more time and add some polite closing remark. Y ahí agregamos algo cortés. You might start with, podría comenzar así. Thank you for your passion and cooperation. Or you can write, thank you for your consideration. And then follow up with, if you have any question or concern, don't hesitate to let me know. Si tiene alguna pregunta, eh, no dude en hacérmelo saber. And I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, those expressions, you can use it in the closing remark. Usted puede usar esas expresiones ya en el cierre de su email. ¿Ok? ¿Estás siguiendo conmigo? ¿Me van, me van siguiendo cuando okay. estamos hablando? ¿Sí? Yes. Marino. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. And the last one, the number five, say end with a closing. Aquí sí hacemos el cierre completo. The last step in, is to include an appropriate closing with your name. El último paso es incluir un cierre apropiado con su nombre. Example, best regard. Sincerely and thank you at all professional. A boy closing such as best wishes. Evite hacer un cierre escribiendo best wishes or cheers unless you are a good friend with the reader. Eso lo podemos hacer cuando las personas sean Eh, más amigables, pero no así en forma profesional. And finally, before you hit the send button, antes de que presione el botón de enviar, review and spell check your email one more time to make sure it is truly perfect. Antes de presionar ese botón, uh, haga un review, un repaso de la forma de que estén bien escritas las palabras. Y una vez más, asegúrese de que todo está perfecto, ¿ok? Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about it? Now, can, what can you tell me about it? 
¿Qué me pueden decir de todo lo que dijimos? Hello. Hola. The structure of email, formal email, yeah. is basic. Yeah. The subject line, opening. Um, what else do we have? ¿Cómo es el cuerpo? ¿Se what? El cuerpo del correo. El cuerpo del correo no me recuerdo cómo se, se dice. The, the body of the text. Body of text. Eh, el tipo de escritura. Eh, que no haya errores de ortografía. Mantiene como una estructura el, el correo, el email. Okay. Forma email. Ok, let me go back to you. Uh, let me see where it is. Right here it is. Ok, let me see. Go back. Ok. Okay, we had two examples here. We had two, Peter at mail.com. Do you know how to say arroba in English? ¿Saben cómo se dice arroba in English? No. 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 Really? It's really. Okay. At, okay, at, it's, it's at, at. 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 Yeah. In this case, Peter at mail at. dot con. Y el punto, ¿cómo decimos punto? Da. Dot. 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 Dot con. Yeah. What about CC? What is the meaning? Con copia. Okay, okay. If you want to share with somebody else, the subject right here, you are going to write it down. Okay, let us see something. We are going to classify it. Vamos a clasificarlo ambos, vamos, veamos. Remember, remember we have to prepare everything for the evening. Please don't forget the scene. See you. Do you consider that this email is formal or informal? Don't tell me, don't tell me. I'm going to read the next one. No me diga todavía. Vamos a leer el siguiente. To Robert at email.com. Subject tomorrow meeting. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. Okay, now tell me. What can you see in both of them? Which one is formal and which one is informal? Peter's case is informal. The third one is informal? Informal, yes. Why? Tell me. Will you give me some characteristic about it? Um, the, the, it sería el close, closing, o sea, closes. ¿Cómo se cierra el correo? The closing. The closing is uh, informal. Mm -hmm. um, but what about the second one? ¿Qué hay del segundo? Uh, the second. I see, uh, I see two, two informal. Both of them are informal? Sí, yes. Why? Tell me. What about the second one? What can you infer about it? For me, um, is a formal email. Okay. Both of them or only one? Ambos son uh, formales? Solo no. Uno. No. One to one. First, a second, uh, uh, the informal. Why? Tell me why.
give me a reason why you consider that it's informal. Uh, I consider the second is formal, um, but the subject is tomorrow meeting, um, bring major information. Okay, what else? Um, in the in the este, tank message or algo así, el okay. cuerpo del mensaje. Yeah. Um, opening with num number of uh, destination. Um, the text is uh, formal. Formal. And in closing with um, um, bring the action for the meeting. Okay, what else? Somebody wants to tell me something else about it? Okay, what else? The second email is formal because um it's like a memo it's kind of memo okay 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 you are right because the first one is informal and the second one is formal yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see what else. Okay, now with the help of your notebook, you are going to write down a professional email to a coworker. Uh, confirm that you need to meet with her or him tomorrow. Apply the suggestion for exercise number five. Ahora, I'm going to give you uh, like uh, three or four minutes in order that you write a professional email to a coworker. Tendrán de tres a cuatro minutos para escribir un email a un compañero de trabajo confirmándole que necesitan reunirse con él o ella mañana. And you are going to apply the suggestion for exercise five, okay? And at the end, you are going to read it and check with us. Respecting all the part that I already mentioned. Respetando las partes que ya mencionamos, you can, uh, if you don't have a, a real email, you can invent it. You are going to put the subject and you are going to write down two lines and out. Okay. I'm going to give you like three or four minutes not that you can write down something about it. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, okay. Let's start doing it. Yes. No question at all. Alguna pregunta? No question. Okay. Dale. Okay, escribamos entonces a un compañero. You have three minutes to do it. Recuerden las partes que lleva el email. And then you are going to share with us. What you can do is just to show up your notes in order that we can read it or you are going to read it. Okay. And Felicita Cruz de Pereira is not here right now. Let 
Y ella era la elegida para el día de hoy. Ok, let me, let me see the one to be sure about the... Veamos si alguien más entró. Ada Daisy is present. Ada. Hello, Ada. Are you there? Alexis Antonio. Alexis Antonio. Can you hear me? Okay, Ana Roxana is present. Present teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Christian Abdulio. No. Diana Carolina is missing. Present teacher. Ah, oh, Diana is there. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know what is happening with you. Es que el día de ahora eh, nos bloquearon la luz en, el, en la colonia porque como están haciendo un centro comercial enfrente. Ah, ok. Entonces le tocó a mi, a mi sector y okay. no sabía. Ah, ok. Y vino hace como unos 20 minutos así. Ah, ok, ok. Ay, disculpe. Ok. Eh, intenté llamar, pero... Ajá. It was, it was really difficult. Yeah, and I have a... a the, the power went off right here too. Like 15 uh, seconds. Okay, Edgar Ademir is present. Present teacher. Okay, Aliana is there. Fausto is there. Felicita. Felicita is not here. Present. Felicita is there? No, Eliani. Ay, 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 Eliani, Eliani. Ah, Felicita is not here. Francisco Javier. Francisco. Francisco is not here, okay. Penara, are you there? Teacher. Okay, yeah. Helen, Helen Maria, no? Karen Yesenia? Karen. Karen. I need that you answer. Ha de tener problemas en las redes, este, okay. por eso que ya no se conecta, pero no nos avisó nada. No ha dicho nada, ¿cierto? Mm -mm. Ok, mm -hmm. siempre que oigan su nombre deben de responder, porque si no me responden, asumo de que no están presentes. Sí, ah. mañana le voy a recordar a Karen porque no se está conectando. Sí, ok, Carla. Present. Ok, no se ha dormido. Ok, Leslie. Present teacher. Margarita, Stephanie, Mengíbar Contreras. Present. Gutiérrez Sánchez. Margarita Gutiérrez. tenía un compromiso. Ah, ok. Tenía un compromiso. Ok. Rosa Esperanza. Present. Ok. Uh, Walter Mauricio. Present teacher. Eh, Wilfredo Guardado. Ok, uh, we almost finished. Well, I think that you are ready. I think that you are ready with your email. Is that true or not? It's true. It is true, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see my lesson plan. Make sure that I'm going. Let's check right, right here. Lesson is okay. Okay, uh, somebody want to share with us? 
what he or she wrote about it. Remember that what you are going to do is just read it. Solo lo vamos a leer para compartirlo. Taking it into account all the parts. For example, you are going to say to, yeah, para, and you are going to read the, the email address. Y van a leer la dirección de correo. Remember that the arroba we say add, y el punto es dot, dot, con. Okay. Who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar leyendo su email? Only one, only one, no more than one. Only one. Solo uno, solo uno. Disculpe, antes de, de decirle, de leer el mío, ¿podría repetir cómo se, cómo se dice la arroba y el punto? At, Por favor. At. Tat. No, at, 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 at. At, ah, at, ok. ¿Y el punto? Dot, D-O-T. D-O-T. Dot. ¿Y los dos puntos? ¿Colon? ¿Los dos puntos? ¿Cómo se dice? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. colon. 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 Okay. Punto y coma es semicolon. We have question mark, exclamation mark. Le voy a decir mío. Okay, read it. Uh, to call Mauricio at Arte Metalsa uh, dot punto com dot com dot com dot com dot com. com perdón dot com okay 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 uh, subject Thursday good night Mr Mauricio inform you that tomorrow there will be an Urgent, urgent, no, urgent, ¿cómo se dice? Argent. Argent, meeting with uh, recursos humanos. The human resources. The human resources. To talk about your case. To talk about your case, okay. Uh, of ausentismo, ¿cómo se dice? The absence. The absence, uh, your case of absent. Okay, okay, okay. What about the ending? The closing. No el cierre, el cierre y el saludo. Uh, el... Uh, así este. How do you have it? Lo esperamos mañana, pero no sé cómo decírselo. <laughs> okay. No llegaste ahí. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry about it. But it's yeah. nice to, to hear you. Okay, somebody else? Alguien más? Me, uh, teacher. Okay, tell me. Okay. Tell me, Walter. Uh, okay, to uh, Daniel at email.com. And subject, and tomorrow. Uh, hello, Daniel. Uh, remember, tomorrow we had a meeting with uh, the client 
worry about uh, begin all the necessary documents. Okay. I want for you tomorrow. Uh, regards. Finish. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. No sé si me hizo falta alguno. Mm, well, well, I consider that you have all, all, all the items required there. Okay, thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Alguien más? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Okay. Two. Edward at CNA dot com. Okay. Subject travels office. Hello, dear Edward. I remember on three April 20, 2021, all office go to the Cuckoo Beach. For that reason, all people are on vacation. Goodbye. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, I know that all of you did this activity. Okay, because of the time, uh, we need to to talk of in a general way about what we started today based on the time. I need that somebody tell me what do you learn about today? Alguien que me haga un resumen de lo que vimos y hablamos el día de hoy. Tell me. Tips for writing, no, writing, for writing informal or formal emails. Okay. What else? Somebody else? Let uh, me and um, you say you may um, the necessary and not necessary and and the vocabulary and the and the uh, try and may uh, uh, you see you see correct uh, formal formal uh, the email Formal and informal email, okay? Formal and informal email. Okay, somebody else? Uh, the importance, the uh, use, using the uh, emails uh, for information, um, if, um, in, Informal uh, um, is form, formal. Informal and informal way, okay. Inf or formal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, for uh, communication, communication, the um, the the place up uh, the place or place okay from place to place <laughs> okay 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 what else me teacher okay tell me we learn um different tips for writing formal emails okay perfect thank you somebody else Alguien más?
Hello. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What did you learn today? Sobre qué hablamos hoy? Hágame un sumario corto. Los que no han participado, por favor. Eh, teacher. Tell me, Roxana. Eh, today speak eh, about the structure of eh, to where a uh, part the emails. Okay, today we talk about the structure of Parse essentials. Okay. Important. Okay, 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 okay. Somebody want to mention the part of the email? Alguien que me mencione las partes principales del email? Eh. Subject. Okay, the subject. But before the subject, what we have? The address. Okay, the address. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? The subject line opening. The opening, okay. What else? The location, teacher. Okay, okay, nice. What else? Como se decía, cuerpo del correo, teacher. The body text. What? The body text. The... Body, body, body text. Body text. The main text also. Podría ponernos esa lámina. Yes. Esto se veía. Yeah. Por favor. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see what I have is. Let me see is this. And you see, okay, right here you have it, the body of text. The body of text. The address, the subject line, the opening, the body of text, the closing, and so on, and the signature. This is the signature, it's right here. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Okie dokie, based on the time, I really want to thank you for being with me. And recordándoles una vez más que por favor hagan las tareas, necesito esas notas. Eh, si usted hace las actividades, por lógica, pues tendrá esas notas. Y es necesario porque necesito hacer el reporte. Entonces les pido de favor, yo sé que pasan muy ocupados, pero por eso desde el inicio les dije, no dejen que se les acumulen. Si hoy tuvimos la clase, el día de mañana en un tiempo corto resolvemos la actividad y así. Pero si ya dejamos una semana, dos semanas, eso se vuelve más duro. ¿no? Pero hoy tendremos que hacerlo para que 
podamos tener todas las notas ahí. Ok, thank you very much. I hasta, hope... profe, perdón, ¿hasta qué clase tenemos que llegar? Ahorita, this is the number. Esta sería la número... 13. 13. 13. 13. Yeah. 13. Yeah. 13. Oh, dog is barking. No. Ok, esta sería la número 13. Sí. Así es. Ok, gracias. Yeah, we are at, at the half. Estamos ya casi a la mitad del norte. Okay. Because you are going to finish on, let me see, March 26, I guess. Well, a la persona que le correspondía, la, persona que la asesoría el día de hoy no está presente. However, I'm going to stay uh, explaining something about emails during these 10 minutes in order that you can have uh, more information about it. Okay, thank you very much. I do really appreciate you and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night for all of you. Bye bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Take care. bye. Okay, let me see what I have here. Hola, Arevalo, are you there? Okay. Today we were talking about how to write email in a formal way. And I have uh, an extra information about, and, and I'm sharing this information with you in order that you can keep in mind that it's really important that you use the cover the style when you're writing an email. As you can see at uh, the left side, I have a formal and on the right side, I have informal way. Don't forget the purpose, business is important messages, the audience, business and work careers, the style that you are going to use and the accuracy, professional, spelling, punctuation and grammar. Uh, don't use a slang, exclamation mark, or smile in formal email. In informal, it's totally different, yes. Okay, when you are sending email to friends, you can use smile, but informal, it's better not to do it, okay. And remember that the beginning and the ending is so important. 
you can start and end appropriately. For example, you can write down, dear sir, dear madame, this Mr. Brown. For example, dear Mrs. Lopez is neutral. Dear Mrs. Lopez is somebody married. To whom it may concern. Also, we can use it. Or dear Dr. Smith. In informal way, uh, no rule. And you can say, hey, yo, Sam, what's up? You can write in that way, opening an email with a question mark also. But informal, we need to follow some structures, right? Okay, another thing that you need to take into account is that informal is better not to use contractions, yeah? We often contract with shorter words in English. For example, we may say his instead of he is. Not that we usually insert an apostrophe in place of missing letter or letters in writing. And in format are some examples sentences. I haven't seen him, I have not seen him. Who's calling? Who is calling? They're coming. They are coming. You can see the difference, right? Okay. And we have those and don'ts. Use an informative subject line, which say that the email is about. You can write the most important information first, use number and bullet point to make the message clear. And you don't write hello as your subject line. Write about irrelevant issues that the real will soon hit the lid if the email doesn't get to the point. Give personal information that you don't want anyone else to know. The email could end up in the wrong hands. Use capital letter to write the whole words in an email. This is considered cheating, you know? Okay, I consider that with this tip, at the moment that you are going to write down an email in your company, you are going to do it in a better way. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, see you later.